Well, hello everyone. I'm back home. Today is Wednesday. I got back home Monday afternoon from our trip down to Arkansas visiting with Denny and Katie at Lee's Arkansas Bound. I want to tell you something here. It was a nice trip going down visiting with them. And on the way down, or before we left actually, I loaded up six bushel of corn. I come across some corn that was spilt in a field. And so I scooped it up. I took six bushel of corn down to Denny and Katie to bless them with some corn to help feed their chickens and their pigs. I also took them 18 quarts of stewed tomatoes, which I've done a video on that. And I did take them a few sweet potatoes and potatoes so they can enjoy them. They came from my garden. But anyhow, I do believe in karma. This morning I got a call from a friend. He said he had a pile of corn in front of the shop that I could come and scoop it up. So I'm gonna show you what I got in return. Right there it is. I got these five bags clear full of corn, this old wash tub, and a five gallon bucket. This five gallon, or these five bags here are way fuller than what I took to Denny and Katie. I took them actual six bushel, which is 56 pounds. So I weighed it out. But anyhow, there's a lot more weight here than what I took to Denny and Katie. So as you can see, I got blessed. I got back what I given them plus some. So it always pays to uh, help others. As Ernie Hatmaker once said, if your glass hat is if your glass is half empty, um, somebody else could use what's left, pour it out, and pass it forward. So always remember that. I'm going to show you some pigs now, really quick. I'm going to go down here to my shelter where I have my pigs. That's what this main video is about. So, or the main part of the video. That's what it's about is these pigs. I want to show you something when I get down here. Let me get in there and I'll get the camera turned back on and I'll show you. Well, here's my setup. I made for these pigs. I used just scrap material that I had, which I have some pallets and some plywood with some two by four framing. That was actually some forms for some concrete. And then of course I have some over here. There's a sow right there. Well you can't see her sun shining, but there's a sow right there. And this is her spot for her having her pigs, but she's still out running. She don't seem to she looks like she's close, but it don't seem like she's getting ready to have babies yet. This is the one sow that had babies, the first one. And as you can see, there's only four babies in here. And then I have other sow that had babies and she's got a few babies over here. But here's the third sow. And as you can see, she has babies sucking on her, but she hasn't, she hasn't had babies yet. She's acting as a surrogate mother. Those babies are getting through the pallets, the wood pallets. The boards are wide enough apart that the babies are getting through over to her and they're sucking on her. So they're nursing on her. I doubt if they're getting any milk, but they're nursing on her. And she's tending to them. The other night I come in here and this sow had all the babies on her except for maybe two. And this one only had two, so I guess I got three surrogate mothers that are taking care of each other's babies. This one hasn't had none yet, but I'm sure when she does, her pigs will eventually go over there and nurse off them other pigs as well. So I guess it's my village taking care of all the kids. But I thought I'd just show you that. I had a piece of board to cheap piece of paneling up across here and this sow broke it all up into pieces there's pieces of it down in here i don't know if you can see that but there's a few pieces down there a few over there but anyhow she ended up busting that up and then the pigs were able to get back and forth so 
But they're taking good care of them between the three sows, even though this one hasn't had babies yet and it's not giving milk. Those babies are sucking on her. I believe she is bred, but she just ain't that close yet. Same way with this one here, this sow out here, she's, she looks like she's really close, but she just hasn't had them yet. Well, I thought I'd just show you that, show you the corn that I was blessed with for blessing others and show you these surrogate mothers, this other sow that hasn't had babies taking care of those others, the other sow's babies. So I'm going to let you go. I'll see y'all later. And don't forget, I love you. Bye.